Okay, so take a look at these two swings here now, Luke. On the left-hand side now, we've got your kind of original swing here now. As you're going back, you said it was very, very good. Ball position, everything else good. Takeaway, nice. Top of the back swing, getting the golf club to a really good position. There's a nice, good amount of rotation there now. Getting the golf club to the top. The issue we've got here now comes again from this right shoulder, which as we said in the session, is almost like your power source. And obviously with the driver now, it's always a club you want to give a whack with the irons because they're going further. There's no need for you now to try and give it any extra kind of energy. So that right shoulder now is working down and under. In your case, you can see in this one here now how much sort of drop and movement forward towards that goal ball there is. That club now working outside over the top, very, very steep into the golf ball. There's your right forearm here and the club shaft kind of up here. So really getting that club very, very steep in the golf ball, chopping in the golf ball here and then swinging across the ball here. Now everything looks quite tucked up here. The ball's then going to start left of target and we're going to see that sort of shape of shot now curving off to the right. And the more right it goes, the more left you're going to want to swing that golf club, which is going to create that over the top. So if we look at this movement on the right-hand side, this is the drill we're going to practice now. So good rotation here in the back swing now. It's keeping the head back behind the golf ball, hip, knee, lower half moving towards the wall while keeping your head maintained behind the golf ball here. You can see as you get to about here now, your head starts kind of moving and tilting so that your right ear, sounds a bit daft I know, gets higher than your left ear. Now your eye line there is going to be tilted down, which means your shoulders, your club are going to be coming in steep. You've got to feel that sort of right side is staying lower and the left side is sort of moving into the wall here while keeping that club working a lot sharp. You can see sort of here as you're going into the goal with that head movement into the ball there now. And this, I think, because of the movement of your head, it kind of guides the shoulders as we head it. And you can see there now as you at the golf ball, your head now is tilted downwards, but that club face is still wide open. So your brain's going to think, well, hang on a second, I've got to swing that club even further to the left now, otherwise I'm going to really slice it. So up the top there, you can see as you come in there, that head trying to kind of move to the right there. We get a couple of that, even more so with the head there sort of tilted down at this position here with the shoulders kind of here. We want to see the head parallel and neutral to that spine angle. So it's really going to be working against this wall, which I think as we said in the session, you found quite tricky to do. Get that head position staying back behind. Okay, we get one here. No, not quite. Still moving it there. So at the moment of impact, we want to see lead hip on that wall hands moving towards that wall club face square the spine angle now would be back behind and your head nice and neutral to that not your head moving to the target moving down i think that again stems from that kind of keep the head down mentality that a lot of golfers have when they sort of start playing golf so work on that movement with the lower half again practicing up against that wall is going to make a massive difference i think and just being aware of where that head position is and just try and feel like you're almost like looking up to the sky, up out to the right there. So that head's going to stay back. Your right ear is going to stay lower than your left ear. Keeping your head in that sort of neutral position rather than that head going down and forward towards the goalpost. I hope that makes sense. Any questions, obviously give me a shout and I'll see you soon, buddy. Cheers, mate.